Welcome back to the country life. Today we're uh, kind of sitting out here under the shade tree, not doing much. Broke my collarbone in a four wheeler accident. So, <sighs> nobody wants me doing nothing. They don't want me using my arm and all that stuff. Uh, so I thought, I've had a few questions come up a few times a, que a question come up a few different times about what is a chicken tractor when i say a chicken i say I'm, i got a chicken tractor i made a chicken tractor my chickens are in a chicken tractor whatever i say people go what is it? some people automatically know what it is a lot of folks know what it is but hey people go well what is a chicken tractor so on today's video i'm uh I'm, I keep looking over there, there's a mockingbird or something getting in my garden, and I'm pretty sure it's trying to pick up some seeds. But, uh, today we're just going to uh, go over a few things and just explain what a chicken tractor is and, uh, go over a few, I'm going to show you a few examples of different types of chicken tractors, show you the kind that I had previously and the one I have now uh, it's easier to move it's lighter weight and so it's a lot it's a lot better uh, as far as moving it by hand and stuff so with all that being said we're finna get to the video this is a chicken tractor this is a large chicken tractor it's kind of cumbersome to move aggravating we're not using that for chickens this year this is well this is not a chicken tractor but it could be used as a chicken tractor this is actually what we call the rabbit tractor we got some little baby rabbits in there So that's actually a rabbit tractor, but you could use it as a chicken tractor. And this is a chicken tractor. As you can see, the chickens are in there. This is the one my wife and I built. Uh, it just helps, you know, keep the chickens protected from like the dog that you see walking around. She ain't messing with them she might would it keeps you know uh keeps them safe from aerial predators coyotes foxes all that kind of stuff but you know it gives a element of uh safety and this is the egg box the uh nesting boxes there's two of them in there they ain't old enough to lay eggs yet and i got it closed off I ain't put a latch on it, so I ain't gonna open it up and show you. I don't know if you can see inside here. It's a little ventilation hole, but they got a perch inside there to where they can perch at night. And the door, the door is closable. And you can close that and you can latch it. Let's pull that rope. It opens back up and hook it right there. That's our go to chicken tractor at the moment. That one back in there in the back. Back there, it's uh it it's just about to take a four wheeler or something to move it around much. But they got plenty of room, they like to get them in there in the shade during the hot part of the day. This is our go-to chicken tractor. It's easy to drag. My wife drags it around by herself. Uh, no problem, really. This right here is the definition. One of the definitions of what a chicken tractor is kind of explains it. And this one explains it a little better and why it's called a chicken tractor. And uh, this this right here is a Joel Salton style chicken tractor. He's great at growing chickens and this is john, john scochevich something like that 
And here are a few uh, PVC made tractors that I found on the internet. So I hope that gives you a little uh, better understanding of what a chicken tractor is. And uh, that's about all. I mean, it's it's simple. It just called a tractor because, like it showed in that definition, it uh, does some functions uh, that tractors are used for, like fertilizing the yard, the garden, whatever, weed control, those sorts of things. It's nothing, nothing big. You can see the one behind me right here. That's that one my wife loves so much. We had to put that electric net up. Uh, had some dogs get in here and been here ah, 10, 12 years and never had a dog problem, a strange dog problem. But uh, last week we had some stray dogs ain't never seen before come in here and devastated some of our rabbits and uh, tried to get our chickens. And so we put some electric netting up. You see electric netting around our rabbits and our uh, chickens right there. And one of our other chicken tractors over there, we, I took some of them, uh, I took some of them yellow right here, some of them yellow insulators and put it all around that and run wire around it and just connect it. Got a hot wire running from the box right up there. I just got a hot wire running across here and I just connect it. That way the dogs hopefully won't get in there with our meat birds. And that one runs down here. It's not touching the ground. It's uh, about a foot and a half off the ground. It runs down here to our rabbit colony, rabbit rabbitry, not colony, and our my wife's chicken coop. I'm gonna eventually put those little yellow insulators around them too. Well, yellow, yellow insulators around them also, and a uh, wire that would take this electric netting down and. Uh, Ain't got to deal with it. We move them a little more. They still have some extra protection. I ain't seen them dogs in about a week, week and a half, but uh, I think the electric fence got them and taught them a lesson, you know, because that's 10,000 volts of electricity. So I appreciate you watching my video and hopefully you have a little better understanding of what a chicken tractor is and why it's called a chicken tractor. Uh, sorry for shaking the camera. Got a broke collarbone and uh, my arm. <laughs> not doing a great job holding the camera steady this time so i appreciate you watching and as always like and subscribe if, if you like these videos hit the like button hit the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel and ring notification bell for more thank you for watching